was exploitation in the family as well, which to him, as he says, is a biological creation. Other, other points. Yeah, I just want to know, uh, in modern America, what would it look like if we, uh, the people took over the modes of production? Well, what would happen today if we took over the modes of production? Great question. We got, we got glimpses in history. We don't have to have a theoretical discussion about this. If you look in the 1930s, in Minneapolis at the very birth, for example, of the unions, what did happen at the formation of the Teamsters Union? They took over an entire city of Minneapolis. And as we understand that it's not just about shutting down production, in some ways, that's the not so easy part, but comparatively speaking, that's the easy part. They then began to do, in grander form, what is beginning to happen in this park. They had to set up kitchens, communal kitchens. They had to set up health care, transportation. In other words, they had to then run the system on alternative means. Through what? How did they do this? They had no government that they would adhere to. They formed workers' councils, and they had direct democracy, something else that socialists champion and argue for. And in fact, if you looked last week at where the workers at the Port of Oakland in cahoots with the people of Woo. Oakland, California, yeah. shut down the fifth largest port in this country. Woo. We get a whiff. Woo. We get a whiff of what it looks like when the people who produce the wealth and transport the wealth start to take control of that wealth. Yeah. Other right. points and questions, and people could also talk to the brother's question about the family. Arguments, disagreements, it's okay, it's a free space. This is not Hell college. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>